there's some serious stuff that we have got to talk about because we need to really understand what is going on with regard to religion in politics and politics in schools. Because I have to say that I'm increasingly anxious, increasingly disturbed. In the UK, we've actually never really done religion in politics. We wear it very lightly. We have a separation of the church and the state. And I think that that has worked and served us extremely well. You look around the world, and where you see religion playing a heavy role in politics, I think we've got to be honest, folks, the results are very often not good. Oppressive, sometimes horrific, sometimes violent. Not good at all. But where are we going here in the UK with the protests that we've seen? And then all of a sudden, we've got children. Children being used for political protest about religious division. And you see how this all intertwines. It's bad enough, frankly, bringing religion seriously into UK politics, in my view. Others may well disagree. But to then increase that sense of division by using politics in our schools and dividing our children, when actually the truth is that here in the UK we have, we have the opportunity, and I think by and large we've probably been reasonably successful, where you've got mixed schools, children, pupils, students, learning together from different faiths or no faiths. Actually the ability to teach tolerance, respect and understanding and therefore, in a sense, to encourage as, as those young people grow up to be adults, hopefully to reduce the sense of division within different religions as people move into politics and the world of politics and current affairs as adults. Surely that's what we've been good at. But I fear that we are heading to a bad, bad place. I touched on it on Thursday about using children in these protests. It wasn't just in London. I fear we're going to see more and more of this. It's exactly the opposite of what we should be doing. We should be teaching learning, tolerance, understanding of different religions. That surely is the way through. So that is my big question to you, everyone, this evening. Children, politics, hmm. My question is, should we keep children out of politics?